Hey, my friends. How are you? It's a you know, today started out kind of warm. But it's a little bit starting to get cloudy and chilly. We're supposed to get rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is good. Very good. And us Californians, we like the rain. So I see Louise and Janet and Margaret. Hi, everyone. So do you see the little sneak peek? Did you see the sneak peek in the on my Facebook post? Anyway, so there have been several questions about scanning in patterns and how to get, one of them specifically said, how do you get just the outside of the pattern, not like the words. So like, um, I'm using this book tonight, which is in our app. This is such a cute book. And we're actually doing this guy. I'm not going to sew them in class tonight, but um, this is what the little finished one looks like. It's pretty cute. It's a little drawstring bag. It's pretty cute. And you can use it for lots of things. I think I am going to use mine for some skin cut tools. So what it is, it is there's this, let me change it to the, hi Lorraine. Are you from Delaware? I think that's Delaware. So let me change to my overhead. Here we go. So this is actually the actual pattern from the book. So it was a, it had some page attachments in the back and so I tore that out and I took this pattern. But I added a few extra words so that we could look at how, even though all this for peripheral, uh -huh. stuff is in there we can cut it so we just have the outline and you can put your seam allowance in also I didn't because you know it's just quarter inch and I'm sewing on black fabric so it's hard to draw onto black fabric and be able to see it because I don't think they have a, a a white marker yet hey Deborah all right so I have my scan mat we're going to start with the scan mat and you know, you could use, theoretically, you could use like the low tack mat, but what happens when you use a mat that you've been used, this is our fabric mat, but see how it has all this stuff in the background and the mat that we've been using always does because it like has little indentations from where it was cut, things like that. And when you scan, it picks that up because the scanner is that good. So then it kind of makes it hard to define what you really want the scanner to really see. So that's why I like the scan mat. And when I get to this um, machine, I'll point out different things about scanning. So when you use a scan mat, you want to scan to cut, not cut directly, because you don't want to, there's no cutting with this mat because it has the protective cover and you'll ruin it. These mats, you know, they aren't like two bucks or anything. So let's just get started. What do you say? And Salima's here Can I to jump be in for mom. just a quick second? I, sure, I just remembered the, something. Well, Salima's got something so, to say to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to Jeannie Yamanaka Jeannie actually took our list of all our lives and she posted it on the group and she posted it in the um, in the scan and cut tips and tricks. She did it under the files. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Um, I believe it's under the files. Um, no, she didn't post it. I'm supposed to post it. Yeah, you. I'm you supposed to post it. Let me. Let me. Let me let me rewind this conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's rewind this. Mm -hmm. Jeannie was kind enough to update the list, and we are going to upload it and put it, and it's going to be located in the file section. There we go. And we're going to try to keep it updated, but you know, I, I really appreciate Jeannie. That is a lot of work. She said she was going to help us with that, so oh. I really appreciate that. Now. 
I owe also, you a coffee or something. I know, right? Also, what Lynn did was she put all the videos under the featured section. So we figured between the featured section on Facebook and the files, you should be able to find all of our lives. So um, again, a big shout out to Jeannie. Thank you so much. Thank Jeannie you. also did it for my IQ group as well. Yay. She was a big helper a um, couple weeks ago. And so I'm going to upload both of these in the next few days so that you guys will have access to those lists. We appreciate it. So that was my little two cents. The scan account was super far behind. <laughs> Uh, Slim was better about than I was. Okay, so let's go to the scan and cut screen. One, two, three, two, three. Okay, I'm going to take my phone with me because some of the people's comments say, um, oh, fancy pants? Yeah, fancy pants. That was a great idea, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and my machine let sleep on me. Took a nap, you know how it is after lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and load Matt. You guys have seen us load mats 500 times, so you don't need to see that, right? And if I have time tonight, I'm gonna give you a little bonus. Bonus. Okay, I'm gonna hit the scan feature. Now, direct cut. This is what I was talking about before. Hold on, I'm throwing the stylus around. This is what I was talking about before. If you select direct cut, what that means is you have something on your mat, you're going to scan it and you're going to cut it right after you've scanned it. And we aren't going to do that because we don't want to cut our scan mat. That's more if you have, like let's say you've stamped some images. A lot of people do paper crafts and a lot of people I see join the scan and cut group say they want to cut images they've stamped. So that's more for something like that. But when you're doing a pattern or something and you're using the scan mat, don't ever direct cut. So we're going to go scan to cut data. And we're going to go ahead and say start. And I'm going to move the lever so we get the message. So it's saying scanner lever is set to two position and it wants it in one position. The, the scanner lever is on the left side of the machine. You just put it down to the lower position and say start. So it's going to scan. It is a lot of hard work. All in that. That's a very helpful resource for you guys to have that. All right. Oh, it's very, very faint. Can you guys see it? So now here are the different options. Let's just, let's pick the different options, see what it's doing. So see, I selected this. That's like inside and outside. If I selected this, it cut all that stuff. We don't want that. If I select this, it, it looks like it's still cutting. I have to, oh, I know what this is. This is a adds an outline to it. It adds a border to it. This one, it's just cutting. But we don't want that. See, we don't want to cut all this stuff on the inside here. So we're going to, you would select this though if you wanted to, if you had a word and you wanted to cut, let's say home, and you want to cut the, the inside of the O, you would select that. So let's go ahead and select this. And I'm also, see how I have all this stuff down here? And, and that stuff down there is because of the end of the paper. Salim is fine tuning the camera. I'm going to zoom in so that She's going to zoom in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull our arrows up. So we get just, just what we want. But this is very clean. And it's clean probably... Did you guys take your bunny? Are you jumping? Okay. <laughs> so this is a clean image because it isn't one that I drew or anything. It's a, actually a printed image from the pattern book itself. So it's very clean. So if it weren't, you could select this and that smooths the lines. So like if I was, wrote it and I was jiggly, I could smooth the line out. 
Okay, so it looks super good, so we're going to say okay. And now, now remember, this was scan to cut data. So you have to save it somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and save it on the machine. And we're going to say OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Home. And it's OK to delete the patterns because we saved it to the machine. So I'm going to unload my scan mat and I'm going to come back over. We're like using all the mats tonight. All the mats. So I am switching over to my fabric mat now, the gold mat. So this mat is very tacky. Nice. Oh, like all loud, right? This one's quiet, now I'm shouting. Okay, so this mat is very, very tacky. And when we use a fabric mat, we're going to use the fabric blade, which is also gold. So they really, like, really made it simple for us. But I have, when I use fabric only, I really, really make it stiff with Terial Magic. So you can kind of see, this is a regular quilting cotton, but I've made it stiff. And we're actually gonna cut two of these because we need for the front and back. Because while I'm here, I may as well cut it right or I'll never ever make it. I'm not, I'm not gonna sew tonight. We'll reserve that for some other time. Mm -hmm. But this is really a cute book. Like if you're teaching a, a grandkid or a, you know, any small child and you snap you, this would be a great book to do. It, it only takes two fat quarters. Super easy. And easy but cute and functional. Like this one bag, I haven't made it yet, but this zipper bag is so cute. Were you gonna say something, Selena? Mm -mm. No, I'm just watching. I was gonna make the little frog for like a pattern way, but he's huge, <laughs> huge. You know, every now and then you just need something, and a frog would be cute, like to hold your fabric down or to hold your book open or something. That'd be so cute. So maybe if we took him and shrunk him, shrunk him down. So I guess this weekend is bad weather across the weather channel's been putting out alerts that it's going to be bad weather across the whole country. So, so weird, right? So late in the year. Okay, so we got our fabric on. Like I said, we're going to do it twice. So here we go, fabric mat. I got to get out the fabric blade. I'm just, so we, uh, we have such an efficient center now. I'm just rolling from one station to the next. So if you hear <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Is it too zoomed in? I need to go back out and check the cameras. We're checking the cameras here. Let's see. So I think that looks good. Is it okay? I think so. Okay. So I'm going to put my fabric mat, I mean, blade in. Oops. Oh, I'm throwing things at Selena. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to retrieve my data because that's where we, we saved it to our machine. And I'm going to just go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom because it will be the last thing. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to say OK. This is very cool, Lynn. You like it? I love this. And see, all very that, practical. that wording is out of there. Yeah. So a lot of people, so I have to apologize. Sometimes you guys post questions and then you think, what the heck? They never answer my question. Well, sometimes the questions, I can't verbalize the answer. I need to show the answer. So now that I've done this tonight, I'll go ahead and approve those questions and then refer the people to the video. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, the background's already faded, so we'll say okay. But let me just show you the difference. If 
if it were the dark background, you wouldn't be able to even see it, right? So let's go back to the faded background and say OK. Now we're going to go ahead and move this down a little bit. And we're perfect. So I have my fabric blade in. I'm going to please select. And I'm going to select cut. And before I cut, I'm going to change corners. Because you guys like to watch it. There we go. And you can see that gold blade is the fabric blade. So the gold blade is in. And we're going to go ahead and say start. And it's not going to take very long. So have you guys been using your scanning cuts? I want to see your projects. Because you know what? You inspire us. Your projects inspire us. So oh, that was fast. It was super fast. I love it. Much faster than we can cut it. Right? I know, right? And more accurate. And more accurate, for sure. So I'm going to go back over. And you aren't destroying your original pattern, right? Because sometimes, you know, when we cut things out, we get a little carried away. We cut into the pattern. We had a teacher one time who taught garment classes and she had like a master pattern <laughs> well the problem was is the students you know a lot of them were beginning sewers and they were cutting into the pattern so the pattern kept getting smaller and smaller <laughs> <laughs> i remember that <laughs> yeah so so oh, if we had a system like this oh doris we are we use the scanning feature. We're using the scanning feature tonight. We scanned in a pattern from a book. This it takes two book, and I actually made this little bag. So we aren't going to make the bag tonight. We're going to just cut the fabric, and then I have a little bonus project because I think we'll have plenty of time. Okay, let's see how well we did. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect. Awesome. Now remember. I know, the poor teacher. So this fabric is very stiff. I did like three things of Terrell Magic. In fact, so I sprayed it, let it dry a little bit, ironed it, sprayed it again, let it dry a little bit, ironed it, sprayed it a third time, let it dry a little bit, and ironed it. And when I do that, I put something on my ironing board so the Terrell Magic doesn't get all over the ironing board. All right, here we go. We'll cut this piece. And what was I going to say? Oh, I have to get more material magic. I know just the place you can get it. I know just the place. <laughs> it's a magical place. So those of you who haven't been to this store yet, you got to come. they got their signage up. It looks really nice. And I super duper love this store. Pretty soon, I'm going to come back to work. I'm very excited because I've been off for a long, long time. Too long. Too long. <laughs> I know. I'm going to forget. They're going to have to retrain me. All right. Let's go back to our machine. Yeah, they're going to have to retrain me. Oh, let's go. I'm going to take you back to this camera. All right. So we are actually going to hit our back arrow because I want to load my mat. Do you have any questions so far? I don't see any. No, no questions. So I'm going to hit the back arrow. Because just to be safe, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm going to keep um, scanning my background once again, my background and fabric again. Remember, this is why we went for the scanning cut, because we have the scanning capabilities. And that makes it so special. So Cynthia, you're from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota originally, snowy Minnesota. So what part of Minnesota are you in? I was in the southwest corner, but I'm practically native California now. I was just a kid when we came out here. Let's go back to the cutting feature. Yeah, I was a... Uh, Kid when we moved out here. 
the head that I leave driving me kicking and screaming because I didn't want to leave the farm. Oh, I know. That fast, we are done. Look at how fast you can cut out your pattern pieces. So this is, uh, and a lot of people who join, asked to join, one of the things they wanted to do was cut patterns for like purses and um, wallets, things like that. And actually, I was going to do this out of leather, but I wasn't sure if I had enough. So maybe one, one of these days I'll redo this and I'll do it out of leather because it would be kind of cool to like have a pouch like this made out of leather, right? It would be super like, cool. Like people attach it to their kilts or something. <laughs> oh, you're between Minneapolis and Rochester. Okay. Yeah, when I go home, I fly into Minneapolis and then I have a couple hour drive. Still call it home, even though it's been like oh, 60 years, but <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem that long ago. But I'm sure I wouldn't, I don't think I'd miss the winners. No. Yeah. As, I, as I get older, that I can't take cold. Here we go. Once again, a perfect cut. All right. So, what time is? Oh, it's only been twenty-five minutes. We got time for a little bonus project. Raise your hand if you want a bonus project. Anyone? Thumbs up if you want a bonus yeah, project. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's free. <laughs> All right. We'll do it anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you. There's a delay. I'm sure you all want it. I know you all want it. Okay. Oh, there it comes a thumbs up. There okay. they come. Uh, They're flying out now. It was a delay. Alrighty. So here we go. What this is is this is um, I guess it's scrapbook paper, and it's just a plain white background and love in a foil letter. So what I thought we could do is look dive delve deeper into the scanning process because some people what they were saying is how can I cut so I get the inside of the letter cut out so that's what we're going to look at now all right so let's go to the design screen of the scan so the cut. paper was already like that with the love yeah the paper is already like this okay cool so it's that's a good cute. exercise yeah good exercise and you can repurpose the love so we are going to go ahead and just load my mat. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the low tack mat. So look, we're doing all the mats tonight. We did the fabric mat, we did the skin mat, now we're doing low tack mat. So I'm going to go ahead and hit home and OK. And also while I'm at it, I'm going to take the fabric blade out and put in the standard black blade. The standard auto blade. Just well, just a little housekeeping. And we're going to go again to the scan function. Now let's. We aren't, I don't think we're going to do this, but let's look at direct cut. And we're going to say we're going to scan from the machine because it. Go back. You can also bring in from your uh, image you scanned into your computer. We're going to go scan the machine. So we're going to scan it. say okay now here's the thing I, I'm gonna draw my arrows in because you know it's picked up some junky stuff off the mat but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to magnify because I want to see what's cutting so let's see let's go up to 200 or 400 I'm sorry it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go any higher than 400. But see, to me, I can see a dark line around the L, but I don't see a dark line around the inside of the L, you guys, or the inside of the E. 
There might be, but I don't think there is. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say it's okay to delete. And then I'm going to go to scan to cut data, because you are given more options here. I think the scan to cut data is okay if you're just going to cut the outside or something. I mean, I'm sorry, not scan to cut data, scan to direct cut. I think that's okay, like if you stamp something and you just want to cut like a border around it. But I think when we're doing something like this letter, we want the, direct, the scan to cut because we have more options. Let's look at those options. So this one, remember, it's going to just cut the outside. I'm going to draw these arrows in. So it's not going to cut... It's not going to cut the inside of the L, the O, or the E. So let's go here. What's it doing here? Now, it, I, it don't, let's see preview. Let's see if it's adding a border to it. It's hard to tell. Let's go to this option and see what it's doing. So this option is going to cut the inside and the outside for sure. So let's go ahead and do that option. We're going to say OK. We're going to save it to our machine. Now remember, if you're doing this, very, very, very important that you don't take the mat out and you don't take <clears throat> whatever it is you're cutting off the mat because it saved it like right there. And it'd be hard to scan it and get it right in the right place again. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I gotta take a drink, sorry. <coughs> okay, so I have my mat still in. I have the material still on the mat. That's what I wanna do because I do not want it to shift. I'm gonna go down yeah. all the way and I'm gonna select my love. Okay. Now, just for kicks, let's scan in our background. It should be right on top of what's there because we didn't move it. And in this case, I don't want to use the scan map because I want to leave them, I want to cut directly on the material I'm scanning. And I don't want to have to try to line it up. But as you can see, because we didn't take this off, we didn't move it, it's right laying right on top of it. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to select cut. See? That's exactly what's going to cut. Exactly the word. We're going to select cut. So remember I have the low tech mat because it's paper. I have the standard auto blade. I'm going to change cameras so you guys can watch it. Okay. And we're going to say start. There we go. This is very cool. Yeah, this is cool. So I hope when I, I'll, now I'll prove those questions and I'll, hi from Colorado. And I will, um, it's Miss Birdie. I will refer the people to the video. You know how they say, let's go to the tape. We're going to go to the tape. So this is just scrap of paper that was already. Can you imagine manually cutting this out? I just I can't. So I was watching some people on Facebook who are big stampers. And they were like, we call it masking. I think I brought this up before, where they stamp it on like a manila folder or something, and then they cut it out oh so that they can, like if they're going to stamp over a stamp, they can make sure they don't ruin the original image. And they're hand cutting it. I'm like, oh my God, what are they doing? So I really need to make a video showing them the way they should be doing it. Right. And here we are. Let's see if the magic happened. Let's see the magic. All right. Here it is. The moment of truth. 
Yeah, so, and especially like if you have arthritis or something, sometimes it can be a problem. So I think um, Thursday I'm going to go by to make soup because the weekend's going to be rainy, rainy. I'm trying to see comments on my phone. Somebody's saying, yikes, stay safe. To um, Cynthia, because she's in between Minneapolis oh, and Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is pretty lettery. So you know what else you can do? You can, um, you can like sign your name and scan that and cut it out if you wanted to. I'm just saving the tape. I'm being conservative. Saving the tape. Because we can reuse it. So do you guys have anything in particular you want to see on the scan and cut? Maybe I should do that. I, I have a few stamps. I'm not a big stamper. But I have a few. Maybe I should do that. Stamp it and then we'll cut mass. One, two, three. Ta -da -da -da. That's so cool. And then let's cut out, take the, the center out. Look in there. So wouldn't this look cool on like a black background? That's super cool. And then you could always take, um, take this guy and use a negative, right? You could be real particular and glue your insides back in, like that. Dun, 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 dun. It's not fun. And I left a little of the gold. Yeah, use it like a reverse applique. That's right. So you guys, come on, let's get going. Let's use our scanning cuts. Maybe someday we can have an in-person scanning cut retreat. Ooh. Mm, that would be fun, huh? I like it. So there's the love we cut out. I know Skanika is so much fun. It's such a versatile tool. I mean, most of, of us are sewers and we love our sewing machine, but what a great tool to have um, for something quick, easy gifts. This would be so cute to like put on a present you're wrapping just as an added decoration. Something like that. I think it's, well, you guys know I'm really addicted to the scam and cut, right? Oh, Mickey, you don't have a Costco? I, I had to, I don't go to Costco. I spend too much money. So there's a couple places I stay out of. Costco, Target, places like that are just too dangerous. So... Anyway, I hope you guys join, join, duh. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this project tonight. You got the little bonus. I hope it helped you understand scanning and cutting a little better. So, you know, I, I'm not sure what the advantage is. Some people, I guess maybe if you didn't have the scan mat, it might be a good option because you get a cleaner scan than like um well Salima's Salima's mat is very clean but oh, you can't see it right now because I changed cameras Salima's mat's very clean but mine at home has a lot of stuff in the back oh use the word when cake decorating that's a good idea my um, mat at home has a lot of stuff in the background so lots of times if I scan if the paper's thinner this was cardstock so it's a little thicker but you can see some of those marks through because the scanner is so good, it picks it up. And then it's hard to get rid of those marks. So. Yeah, the Terrell magic is magic. I think it, for this application, I use Terrell magic rather than best press. So it's super cute, super cute little project. And like I said, if you're teaching kids to sew, 
And remember this book's on the app, the AAA Sewing and Fabric app. So it is there if you want it. Do we have any other questions? This is a quick demo tonight, huh? But very informative. Yeah, I know where to buy a new mat. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I, I've also seen some people who have bought. So a lot of people I don't think have like brother dealers near them. So they're buying a lot of things online. And I think they've bought aftermarket. And it, it, unfortunately, their machine does not recognize the mat. So sometimes you think you're saving money, but you aren't. Because the machine is very particular about the mat. And you're better off to buy a legitimate Brother product. So I think, you know, like I'm sure dealers will mail it to you. Might be a little expensive because you don't want to roll the mats up. You want to send them flat. So, oh, thanks, Fancy Pants, my jacket. I got my horses on today and my cowboy boot. It's like old bark cloth. So... Anyway, I always have fun with you guys. It would be so cool to have an in-person one. Maybe one of these days we can plan that. No, you can't, Jeannie. If it's uh, the DX, so let me show you. So the old mats did not have this diamond cut out. They were solid on both sides. But the, the DX mats have these boxes on them because that's how it scans and senses the thickness of what it's cutting and adjusts for it. So you cannot use your old mats. And the old mats, if one side went bad, you could always turn it around and feed it through the other side. These, the DX, you can only feed through one way, and that's with the arrow going into the machine. Yeah, you can't use the, the scan and cut won't recognize the original mats, unfortunately. So you can't use those. No, sorry about that. You can't use them. So anyway, my friends, that's all I have for tonight. Do you have any other questions? I know it is sad, uh, Jeannie, but... I mean, it's sad, but it's happy because we have Auto Blade. I mean, no more testing. Auto Blade <laughs> was a game changer. Mm -hmm. It was so much work, and then you had to test cut almost every time you cut mm -hmm. because the the blade was different. What you were cutting was different. It was it was kind of a pain. Even my kids' eyes lit up when I told them there was no more test cutting. Yeah. With auto. Even they were like, oh my God. Yep, we have to get ready for the rain, Doris, Thursday. If it, well, if it's true. But I think it is true because it's even getting kind of cloudy tonight. Who knows, it might even rain tomorrow, right? Okay, my friends. Thank you for coming to visit with us. We miss you. We're happy to be back with you. And I'll think of something clever for the next project in two weeks. In the, or if you have, you know, something you want to see, let us know, okay? All right, everybody, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay dry, stay happy. Bye. Bye.